Thai architecture and Thai traditional arts have many distinctive qualities, which makes them easily distinguishable from those of other neighboring countries in Southeast Asia. Now we will show a few examples of Thai architecture. Traditional Thai wooden house. Steep gable roofs. A steep gable roof is a roof that is very high and triangular. The gable roof helps to provide shade inside the house from intense sun and offers protection from the rain. Another typical feature about the gable roof is that it helps the house stay cool because the cool air stays down and the hot air floats up. Colors A color is we are egg shape on men usually found on gable roofs in North Thailand, cut entry means to cut and ray means to look or to keep an eyes on something. The people thought the car would keep evil spirit away. Roof tiles. The roofs of simple houses in Thailand were traditionally made from straw or from leaves or some out of wooden shingles. People began to want a roof that lasted longer and so clay tiles was introduced. Thai traditional houses that used gable roofs allowed vertical ventilation which kept the house cool. The hot air rose and flowed through the open ceiling and was replaced by cool air that was turned up between the wooden floor panels. Stilts Most traditional Thai houses were built on stilts to keep them from flooding during the rainy seasons. The area under the house could also be used for storage or even for sleeping during the hot months. Stilts also offered protection from dirt, snakes, thieves, and most importantly, the monsoon floods. Large windows. Most traditional Thai houses had huge windows for air ventilation and offered the relief from the hot and humid climate. Veranda or terrace. A veranda or a terrace was a rat, flat wooden area. It was a place where you could pay, receive, grant, and sometimes a place to sleep. Wooden panels. Most wooden houses had decorative panels for walls. Panels could be taken down almost as quickly to allow the house to be moved and reassembled elsewhere. Wooden pegs. Traditional Thai houses were made from wood held together by wooden joints or pegs. No nails were used. Such houses could be dismantled and reassembled somewhere else, so it's real case of house moving. Raised thresholds. In Thai belief, the raised thresholds of Thai houses pre prevented evil spirits from creeping in at night and disrupting those who were sleeping. The raised threshold acted as a structural aid holding the wall sections firmly in place on their frame. The raised threshold also prevented babies and chi small children from falling in the, into the water nearby the door. Decorated wood carvings. It was easy to understand why ornamental wood carving in Thailand, were set a highly specialized skill when you consider how much detail went into every caprice. Most wooden carving were found in living room, kitchen, or outside of the house to make the world decorative. Special door locks. People long ago also built their house with special door locks, so thieves, mice. And other wild animals can go in. Pediment. A pediment is a triangular part at the top of the front of a house or building which supports the roof and which was often decorated with wooden panels or carvings. Long overhang. Long overhangs were very common in Thai houses. Long overhangs protected the house from direct sunlight and rain. Catchment for rain. Most traditional Thai houses had glass jar 
go of water in front of the house where people could to wash their feet before they un entered the house were building. Old wooden temples. Steep roofs. Five traditional temples also had steep roofs. It was very useful during the rainy seasons. The rainwater would run off the steep roof quickly. A way to block out direct sunlight. Most traditional Thai temples had long overhangs that provided shade and kept the rain out of the open areas of the temple. Types of construction to keep out water. There were two types of construction to keep out water outside the house. One way to keep out the water out was having steep roofs. Steep roofs always help the rain water slide down quickly. The second way to keep out the water was having long overhangs. Long overhangs were very common in traditional buildings. Huge windows and open entrance. Large windows were really common in Thai temples. Large windows created air ventilation long ago. Air conditioner were not used yet. Open in train were common also. Thai traditional temple had open in train for air just like the large windows. Special concrete or wooden columns. Most traditional Thai temples had concrete or wooden columns. Most columns in Thailand had a lot of decorate on top. The top part of the column is called a capital. <coughs> Capitals are make columns more decorative. It also has a special meanings for it. Wooden pegs and wooden joints. Back 300 years ago, People used wooden pegs or joints to help the roof and walls stay in place. Murals There are different kinds of murals in every temple. Most murals in temples told about Buddha's life, stories, beliefs, and how li people live back then. Murals are one of the things that are very precious and colorful in Thailand. Old Market When you visit to and on market there are precious things you could buy and on market is good place to buy stuff back then on market also has special design restaurants and shops floating market a floating market is different from the old market floating markets are floated on water but old markets are on land floating market is a good place to buy stuff and food just like the old market. Palaces Multi-tiered gable roofs Multiple roof tiers were important elements of the Thai temple. The use of ornamented multiple tiers was reserved for roofs on temples, palaces, and important public buildings. Two or three tiers were most often used, but some royal temples had four. Glazed tiles on roofs. Most Thai temples and palaces had roofs that were in ceramic tiles or in glazed tiles. Glazed tiles gave the roof a typical pattern and color. It was much more useful than wooden tiles because it lasted longer. Trophas. Trofa were Thai architectural ornaments which adorned the end of Thai temple and palace. The trofa was generally believed to originally represent the mystical creature Gurada, half bird, half man. Nagas. A naga was an ornament usually found on the end of the gable roof. A naga was symbolized as a mythical serpent in Southeast Asia. Decorated carved barge boards. A barge board was a board fastened to the roof's rafters to give them strength. It also hit the rafters. Most barge boards were carved to make it decorative. Decorative eave bracket. An eave bracket was an architectural term for the ornament supporting the roof eaves. 
On Buddhist temples in Thailand, they were often in the shape of Naga or mythological figures. Speared roof. Most high palace and temple had a spire roof. A spire roof or bay rose above the central room. A spire roof told you that this building was really important. Columns and its capitals. Columns were used to support the high ceiling found in temples. On top of the column there are a decorative part that symbolizes a lotus. Special decoration around windows and doorways. People long ago built their house with decoration around the doorways and windows. They decorated so it could be colorful and attractive. Interior murals. Murals in palaces told about historical events. Decorated ceilings. Thai palace and temple also had decorative ceiling too. Some ceiling showed mural and other had different kind of color with pattern. King's chamber. The king and the queen's chamber would be made out of gold and decorative carving. There were chambers for the king and the queen back then too. Sala. A sala is a place where you could take a rest. A sala has opened areas for air ventilation so you could feel the breeze. It is also a nice place to sleep because it is quiet. Three styles of chedis. Chedis are monuments that have enshrined relics of the Buddha or the ashes of important people, like people from the royal family. Chedis have different kinds of styles. Chedis are fun in every watch. Chedis are also introduced to Thailand by the Khmer. Our group has learned that Thai architectures are very unique. We also have learned that Thai architecture and Thai traditional arts have many distinctive qualities which make them easily distinguishable from those other neighboring countries in Southeast Asia. Thank you for watching our movie. We hope you liked it.